Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Congressman Tom Rooney, and here's an update as to what happened this week in Congress. I served nearly 75,000 veterans in Congress, making Florida's 17th district one of the highest concentrations of veterans in the whole country. From helping veterans solve problems and processing claims with the VA, to working to fund veterans benefits programs at levels deserving of their sacrifice. My duty to these 75,000 veterans is something I take very seriously. So recently I started hearing stories about individuals advertising themselves to the veterans in my district claiming that for a hefty fee, which is illegal, they could actually help ex expedite veterans' claims with the Department of Veteran Veterans Affairs. The problem with that is they can't expedite claims and instead they have defrauded our veterans and gotten away with it. So this week, the House passed a bill that I wrote with my friend Democrat Ted Deutsch of South Florida to penalize these people and companies making a living off of stealing from veterans. Our bill would give law enforcement and prosecutors the tools to penalize pred predators that blatantly engage in a scheme to defraud a veteran of his or her benefits by imposing a fine, imprisonment of up to five years, or both. Not to mention this bill passed with unanimous bipartisan support in the House. I consider this to be a big win that in Washington we were actually able to come together in support of our nation's veterans and so I'm proud to have written this bill. Also this week in the House we passed a critical bill titled the Southwest Border Security Threat Assessment Act. This bill requires the Department of Homeland Security to conduct a full assessment of the threats coming across the southern border to be able to accurately measure illicit activity along the border and to respond to it. It is imperative that we take a close look at everyone and everything that is coming over our border and to keep all Americans safe. And finally, this week was the annual Grammys on the Hill week in Congress, where musicians, producers, and others in the music industry come to Washington to advocate on behalf of music creators in this country. I had the honor of being presented an award with my friend Democrat Joe Crowley from New York for our legislation that aims to fairly pay music producers who play an integral role in producing the soundtracks of our lives. As a member of Congress, I find myself in a unique situation where I can take my love of music and help make a difference legislatively for those who help create it. We have a long history in this country of protecting property rights of individuals. The people that come up with ideas in this country can be rewarded for them like no other place in the world. I've always believed that the words and scores behind great music belong to the innovative minds that created them in the first place. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this message. I hope that you and your family have a great weekend. Before I go, you may remember that I picked Villanova to win the national championship correctly. I also picked the Broncos to win the Super Bowl. I don't really watch hockey, so I have no recommendations on the Stanley Cup, except for my nephew Patrick is rooting for the Florida Panthers. So go Panthers. Have a great weekend.